A traumatic brain injury, sometimes called a concussion, doesn't necessarily have to be a blow to the head to cause concern. We spoke with a speech language pathologist to learn more on how you can prevent it. So Brenda, thank you so much for being here with us to My talk pleasure. about traumatic brain injury, right? Give yep. us a, a little background on what that is. Traumatic brain injury can be categorized um, into mild, moderate, and severe. Um, I think today we're talking a little bit more about the mild injuries that go undiagnosed. And that can be any mechanism of injury to the body without okay. even a direct blow to the head, common misconception, with or without loss of consciousness, and any one symptom. And that symptom can be physical, emotional, can be a sleep symptom or even a cognitive symptom. Headache, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light, those are all physical symptoms. Um, cognitive symptoms, confusion, disorientation, problems with attention or memory, or even sleep symptoms, you know, subtle sleep symptoms. They can't sleep or they sleep too much or they're fatigued um, or they're irritable or impulsive or emotional. Um, sometimes anxiety or depression can set in and those can be secondary to brain injury. How can we get people more educated on those symptoms and do they just rush to the emergency room right away or what's the first step? Well, it, you're right, it's a big problem in our area. Um, it often goes undetected, undiagnosed. I think just more awareness um, and the levels of coaches and educators, parents, um, even medical professionals in um, just knowing and identifying that children or even adults that are involved in any type of high risk behavior, um, at risk behaviors that hit their head, um, just knowing that the risk is there and be prepared to identify it and then be proactive um, about managing it. So that could be anything um, from riding horses to um, going on motorized scooters, that's a big thing now, uh, motorized hoverboards or skateboards, things like that, um, or, or even sports. What's the first thing that they should do just to make sure that they don't have an injury? Because sometimes the symptoms don't show up, as you said. Absolutely. So when in doubt, um, they need to be removed from whatever activity it is immediately, and then they need to be assessed by a, by a doctor. Great. Well, thank you so much for that information. Sure. Mm -hmm.